The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword is one of those games that either people loved or they hated on the Wii. Back in 2011, it was towards the end of the Wii's life cycle, but it was time to come out with a second Zelda title for the system. Twilight Princess launched with the Nintendo Wii, and it's a game I absolutely loved. I thought it was terrific. Now, Skyward Sword did not have the same type of acclaim to it, and a lot of that is due to, in 2011, people were kind of tired of waggling even with the Wii Motion Plus. Hey everybody, Gary here for Rocks Off Productions. I hope you are doing well and that you enjoy our episode that we have here today. Now, they have gone, they, Nintendo, pronouns pal, have come forward and now re-released Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for the Nintendo Switch. Now what I have playing behind me, this is actually the Wii version going through my RetroTank 5X. It looks beautiful. Now. Since I have the original, I haven't necessarily felt the need to update to the Switch version, especially at a $60 price point. However, one thing that Nintendo has done is these killer looking Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Joy-Cons, and we did manage to get ourselves a set from our local Target store. It's one of those things, these are extremely hard to come by right now. If you didn't pre-order them, you may be out of luck. I've seen these being scalped for a hundred, hundred twenty, hundred fifty dollars on eBay, which is really unfortunate. I hope Nintendo sees the demand for something like this, and since they're not doing a whole lot for the 35th anniversary, does go ahead and keep cranking these out so those who want them can get them. So what are we gonna do in this episode? What we're gonna do is we're gonna open these, we're gonna check them out on the box, we're gonna check and see as well some of the neat little details that Nintendo has put into this set here. Let's go ahead, before we hit the bench, what I wanna know from you, did you play Skyward Sword on the Wii? And if not, did you pick it up for the Switch? And if you did pick it up for the Wii, did you like it, especially if you have now picked it up on the Switch? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna reduce the value real quick on these by opening this up, taking a look at them on the bench and seeing how they come out of the box. Let's get started. So here we have the Zelda Skyward Sword Joy-Cons on the bench. Uh, the box art looks beautiful. I mean, check that out. The one thing I did not realize in pictures is that the left and the right Joy-Cons are actually slightly different colors. The left one is more blue, the right more purple. Um, on the side, you get a look at the Joy-Con with the, the retainers and whatnot. And then on the back, basically just a set of two Joy-Con controllers for the Switch, blah, blah, blah and kind of gives you another little shot there on the side. Now, thankfully, Tom from Do You Nerd returned the stolen X-Acto knife at the Southeast Game Exchange 2021. If you haven't checked that out, I'll have a link for you right up there. But let's go ahead and like really reduce the value of these because I'm gonna open the box, which, you know, as much as these are going for right now, I'm okay with. Um, do not pay scalpers prices. Uh, it, you're gonna hear me say that over and over. Um, they're just not worth it for, quite honestly, just a different color of Joy-Con. Now one thing I do wanna make sure though is that I don't tear the box. So I'm gonna put our blade on there and pop that up. There we go. Everything nicely bubble wrapped. I have to admit, it's been a long time getting from there to here. No, a long time since I've opened up a set of Joy-Cons because like my spare set that I have, these guys I bought used, so they weren't boxed and my regular Joy-Cons came with my Switch. So um, I have not opened an actual factory sealed set of Joy-Cons previously. So there's the right one. Here's the left one. So they basically have it in bubble wrap in a bag. So there's that. Now, one thing that is interesting on the Joy-Con safety straps um, is the fact that this pattern basically is kind of like the grip on the Master Sword, uh, or sword if you prefer. Um, it's neat that it has that tether and everything on there. I don't remember my originals having that, but they had to have. I don't think that that was anything new, and you do have the, the kind of shoulder buttons there if you are going to use it in handheld mode, like so. So you can hit those just fine, and then to unlock, you just hit that up, and then we slide back off somehow. You can tell I don't do this that often. Or did I just lock it? I just locked it. Come on, you. There we go. 
So you do have two of the, the grip straps and everything that come with it. And let's take a look at the left one first, uh, because you do have the you know Legend of Zelda logo and everything with the Triforce there. Beautiful detail work around the analog stick itself. Now, these may still be prone to, um, uh, to Joy-Con drift, so I'm not sure. Uh, you have your SL and SR buttons up here, your pairing button there, if you would want to use it, the Nintendo logo on back. I mean, this is, you know, just a left Joy-Con. With the right one here, you can see it is a darker, more purple color. Again, you have the Triforce uh, logo down here in the lower part. Home button, nice graphics around the ABXY buttons and along the right analog stick too, S, uh, SL, SR on the top there. Overall, a good looking set of controllers, but here you can also see side by side that it does indeed have a different color on the left Joy-Con versus the right. Now, the build and everything, as you can see, right to right, there's no difference between these two Joy-Cons apart from the paint scheme. Left and left, same thing, no difference here whatsoever. Now, the one thing I do wanna check out real quick is just how the fitment is on our Switch. And we do have our Switch right here. This is our uh, Stormtrooper color one that I call it. If you wanna see how I got the white back and everything on here, also the white Joy-Cons as well, I'll have a video for you right up there where you can check that out. Uh, but these should slide, yeah, really nice fit right on there. I mean, it feels like a regular set of Joy-Cons, so nothing special or different there. Good flush fitment with the back, app, you know, 100% as I would expect. Oh, it does have the HD camera in the right Joy-Con as well. But overall, you know, a good looking set of Joy-Cons. If you are a Skyward Sword fan, I would say definitely pick these up. But again, do not pay scalper prices. So overall, these really don't add a whole lot that any other normal Joy-Con do. They're just damn cool with their theming that they have on here. The look that they have to capture the Skyward Sword kind of fit and feel and everything, they look terrific. I hope you appreciated our look at these on the bench. Even the little details that have gone in through into the wrist straps that kind of have that Master Sword kind of little fit and flair to it. So definitely very, very cool. Now, if you do want to pick up one of these, please don't pay scalpers. I'm hoping that we're going to see more of these coming. Fingers crossed that that does happen. Now, if you are looking for additional games, accessories, things along those lines, do me a favor, make sure you're checking out CastlemaniaGames.com. He does now carry first run Nintendo games for the Switch. He always carries stuff for the PS4, PS5, and the Xbox series as well. Uh, he also has some really cool accessories like the Retro 85 cartridge carrier that you can go ahead and carry your Nintendo Switch cartridges for, you know, and the go and they look like an awesome little NES cartridge. If you haven't checked them out, I'll have a link to our video review of them right up there for you. Um, if you do have any other comments or questions, as always, you can also go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section. You can also go ahead and email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. Send me a message on Twitter at rocksolidstudios. We are on Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions and Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. And if you like what you see here and you want to see more, we have whole dedicated playlists just towards the Switch and Switch accessories. Do me a huge favor to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. That way each and every time we do upload new content, you are kept the most informed and up to date. These are very cool. I'm glad to have these in my collection now. I was never personally a big fan of Skyward Sword, bigger fan of Twilight Princess, but it's one of those that they just look damn cool. And with the Switch OLED coming, these could take it to the next level. I am Gary, this has been Rockstar Productions. And again, if you are looking for any more information on tips and tricks, reviews, how to's, those videos are coming up for you right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support the future of Rocksaw Productions, you can do so by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you'll get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube for as little as $1.99 a month. And with that, you get a badge next to your name when you comment or post on the channel, and you are acknowledged whether you are a channel member or a Patreon supporter at the end of each and every one of our videos. 
You can also support the channel by visiting our Teespring store on screen now, where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, masks, cell phone cases, and much more. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.